My name is Joel from the professional services team at firewalls.com. In this session, we turn our spotlight towards a fundamental yet sophisticated concept within Fortinet's framework, the VDOM or virtual domain. So what exactly is a VDOM? Uh, in its essence, a VDOM is akin to a virtualized instance of the Fortinet firewall. It allows you to transform a singular physical 40 gate unit into multiple virtual firewall devices. Each of these firewall devices operates independently, complete with its own security policies, routing tables, and administrative domains. Why are VDOMs significant? In this video, I want to highlight that VDOMs provide resource optimization, flexibility, granular control, and delegated administration. With resource optimization, VDOMs make optimal use of your FortiGate hardware by allowing segmentation of a single device to serve multiple functions, be it separating office departments or managing multiple client setups. Flexibility with VDOMs, overlapping IP addresses are no longer a challenge. Interfaces in different VDOMs can use the same IP address without causing any conflicts. In granular control, each VDOM can have its own unique set of rules and policies, providing a granular level of security and traffic management. Delegated administration, this is a game changer for larger organizations. Super admins can delegate administrative responsibilities by granting access to specific VDOMs. This means a department or a branch can have its own admin overseeing just their slice of the network without affecting the broader setup. Here are some facts. Packets are confined to the same VDOM. This means two interfaces in different VDOMs can share same, the same IP address without overlapping subnet problems. By default, FortiGate supports up to 10 VDOMs, depends on the model. Only the main admin account or the super admin profile can configure and backup all VDOMs. Other admins can be assigned to VDOMs, so a super admin can create an admin account and assign that account access to any VDOM. Admins can have access to more than one VDOM. In practice, here are some cases for VDOMs. A firewall that is subletting internet access to another office, and that office uses the same LAN IP address as one of their LANs. In this case, you would create a VDOM that segments all traffic create an admin allowing the other office access to their virtual domain in the firewall. Here we've achieved three key items, uh, complete segmentation of traffic for both the offices, no IP subnet conflicts or being required to change one of the existing network IP schemes, and the office can access the firewall but only for their VDOM and not the main firewall configuration. Another use is when you have segmentation and want to assign administration of these to certain users while restricting their access to other segments. I see this working great for a large um, network with a large network security team. Let's take a look at the firewall GUI and show you what it looks like. All right, so this is a 40 gate 6 CE. Before we get started, I want to show you that I am logged in as root admin and I want to point out that here on the top right, I can filter my view um, per VDOM. You want to make sure you are on the global view um, in order to see the settings for the VDOMs. Um, we're going to head over to system settings. And here you can enable multi beta mode. As you can see, I already have it enabled. Um, just for fun, let's head over to the CLI. And here you would type config system global, set beta mode, multi beta, and this will prompt your uh, firewall to restart. So just hit OK, and then you'll just have to log in uh, one more time. By default, the management VDOM is root. The management VDOM can also be manually assigned from the GUI or the CLI. Click on create new at the top. 
Here you will name your VDOM and then proceed to attach it to the interface on the device. So for this example, we're just going to do cells. We're going to hit OK. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to head over to the interface. All right, for this example, we are going to attach it to um, interface six. We're going to hit edit. And all you have to do here is change the virtual domain that it is attached to. Um, you can go ahead and change other settings on the interface as needed. And that's it. Other configurations to consider next are, well, the interface configuration, the administrator for this new BDOM, routing, and policies for the BDOM and the interface. In conclusion, BDOMs optimize the blend of efficiency, flexibility, and control within Fortinet's architecture, enabling businesses to scale and adapt without the need for constant hardware augmentation. For more in-depth exploration into Fortnite's capabilities and other essential cybersecurity concepts, do visit us at firewalls.com. We value your engagement and look forward to guiding you further into the realm of network security. Until next time, stay secure.